Welcome to Red Carpet TV Nigeria. Kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. The most resounding success and achievements in life is not about the fatness of your bank account or material possession. Rather, it is in the number of lives you have impacted positively and the volume of appreciations the work of your hands is commanded. This statement lucidly underlines the personality of Odia Ofemu, a Nigerian wave-making poet, columnist, journalist, dance drama producer and public intellectual. <laughs> March 16, 2020, Odia has fondly called Cloth 70, but as an intellectual influencer who has touched many lives through his work of arts, he was celebrated by a committee of friends who put up a two-day international conference in collaboration with the Faculty of Arts, University of Lagos. <laughs> Chaired by the Nigerian Minister of Interior, Ogbeni Rauf Aregbeshola, the conference with a the theme, Taking Nigerians Seriously, a conference in honor of Odia Ofemun, was a gathering of seasoned intellectuals, writers, journalists, and several personalities that matter in the society. Given his opening remark, the committee chairman, Professor Mumiraji, explained the rationale behind the occasion. That Odia is 17, itself is already a kind of victory. And we thought that that was a celebration. And that is why we have decided to organize this conference in its honor. We are happy that this day has come. We look forward to embodying two days today and uh, tomorrow. We welcome everybody who has come, who has honored our invitation. Also in a speech as chairman of the occasion, Aregbe Shola cited reasons why Odia deserves to be celebrated. The job of it is that an important occasion to renew his over relationship with a good friend of mine, with whom in the past 20 years I've had serious relationships with. Before the last 20 years, we were not very close. In other things, I've been very, very close. And I am proud to appreciate him. Not for what a long told me spoke about it in his color. It's about his uh, hand. It's an affiliation of what? Whether consciously or unconsciously. And being not a HIV giant, I'm not too good at using the world. To really describe what I want to say. But beyond what the film represents a class of Nigerians who could not, who could not accept the mission that characterizes the life of the majority of them. I do believe and probably to their own personal experience of it and execution of it, we might all be totally in the reality of thinking how to take incisive shape of that reality out of the mission. The Dean, Faculty of Arts, University of Lagos, Professor Funke Adeboe, described Odia as a rare gem to the nation. Apart from the single one years and the months and years following the announcement of the June 12, 1993 elections, there can be no doubt that never has it become more imperative for us to 
to take this country seriously. Actually, I suspect there is a bit of felicitous ambiguity in the theme taking Nigeria seriously. In one sense, that participial nominal phrase, apologies of course to our professors of English here, might be a reference to the essence of the Odia of Femme Literary Google. Surely, the man we are honoring this gathering today is one of the very few intellectuals alive who have never taken a break from the back-breaking project of taking Nigeria seriously in their writings. In, in his keynote address, the guest lecturer a professor of African American Studies and Comparative Literature, Harvard University, USA, took everyone down the memory lane on what ODEA stands for. It's a great honor and privilege to have him invited to give this keynote. But let us one start with the task of appreciating ODEA. But it's one thing to be one of the most prolific writers of Nigeria and Africa of all time. Odia is indisputable. He has produced more than 40 books of poetry, polemics, non-fiction prose, uh, polio poems, better known as poems for dance drama, and cultural journalism. But it's something else entirely to also be one of the most revolutionary of the poets, of the poets across several generations in our continent. Moreover, to consider, consider the fact that for more than 40 years, from the 1970s when Odia started writing to the present time, his productivity has been unceasingly sustained. And then there's also this enormously crucial aspect of Odia's intellect as a formidable polymath whose poetic and intellectual works are informed by breadth of learning. Both for its own sake and in dazzling application to many of the subjects, themes and concerns of his works. There was a citation of poem from the numerous work of the celebrant. Every day for the fan lords and his and their plow, the black seat of the forge and the marketer. One day for the weather. And when God minds are stormed to tears by lyrics that make citizens of wayward thoughts know it's the day of the poet of the public set. cake was cut at the count of 70.
celebrant who appreciated his guest further used the occasion to introduce a variety of books recently published by him. That all of you are here to see me at 70. I am glad to be here. The beautiful thing about it is that much as I can disagree with them, friends with whom you can disagree, but with whom you can always remain friends, are the great friends of your life. It is important that we celebrate the people who are living in the same period, in the same country as we are. It is not all of us who are that lucky to have in their time as contemporaries people who make them better human beings than they would have been. And I'm happy that everybody I have seen here has contributed something to my being a better human being than I would have been. And I'm happy that I won't come to her She was so frightened. She spent so much of her youth trying to get a second song. All of them were miscarriages. So it became my responsibility to try to be something bigger than one song would have been. I know I had done it, but seriously, I had to look her in the face after one very bad miscarriage. And I said, Mama, I am not that. Even if every, every leaf in all the trees around this town can be climbed by witches and wizards, they won't be able to touch a hat then. But I beg that not to do one thing. Don't beg any medicine man, don't beg any pastor, don't beg any Babala or Haji, because I will survive. And I will say it. Try to celebrate all those Nigerians who have gone through the processes of Nigerian life and managed to survive it. I think that we can do the same thing that this man is expecting. This conference must be different. Written in response to the 2014 uh, National Conference, it's still as valid as the book that is not here, which I call The Young Scramble for Nigeria. I think that all of us need to scramble for our country and take over and never leave. Nigeria needs to be bigger than it is, not smaller. And we don't want homelands to be tortured. We want all homelands to be defended. For Nigeria to be free, every Nigerian homeland must be defended. With photo shoots and exchange of banters, the public lecture drew to a close. The following day, Friends, families, and colleagues gathered at the restaurant section of the University of Lagos Guest House for a mouth-watering dinner in honor of the celebrant. It was a moment of relaxation that marked the crown and glory of a two-day intellectual discourse that bordered on how the country can be taken seriously. But the dinner did not go underway without emphasizing the key points of issues that have dominated the front burner of the two-day conference while declaring it open. The chairman of the occasion, Femi Falano son, took a critical stance on the structuring if the country must move forward. I'm happy some of my friends who are advocates of restructuring are here. And there is a need for us to change the narrative because there are a lot of assumptions. It is believed in many circles, including here, that until powers are distributed from Abuja, we are not going to make progress. This is misleading, grossly misleading. Number one, there is no government in Abuja that has stopped any state government from developing. No government in Abuja has stopped any state government from organizing its educational system, from building hospitals, even from mending federal domain rules. But when people want to deceive us, we are simply being told until we take powers from the Fulani people in Abuja, Nigeria will not make progress. I want to say here tonight that as far as the manhood constitution of Nigeria is concerned, 95% of offenses in Nigeria are state. 
<laughs> While proposing the toast, Mr. Kayode Komolafe described the celebrant as a gift to the nation. Like I said, I'm not talking about safety, we are like technical, I mean, our economists. Um, so technical that the only limit is the calculation of GDP, growth rate, and the rest. But I'm talking of assets in humane manner that is so. So, when I look at ODIA, it is that kind of image that I have that this is a, a huge asset in the nation. Question activists. All of this. And indeed, it has been a philosopher of our time. And over and above all, a very good human being. Cheers. 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 The birthday cake was cut and the goodwill messages filtered in. I people address me as Odia's daughter. Even right from when I was staying with him at his house in Oregon. I grew up with him. And he's this kind of person that when he warns you against something and you, you go against his will, you will pay for it. There's, there's always there's there's a way that you will pay for that thing. Daddy, I love you. Daddy, you are the best brother in the world. Very, very open with this woman. And then said, no, 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 no. You know, the doctor said two before or two weeks after. You know, that is the budgeted time for. Sorry, I'm not going to give you your time. So, but this is the, the cycle, you know, come out before me, so to speak. And that's what it was for this month. And now we'll come for the month, a three weeks interval. So that was the reason why he. So from there, when we started staying together, really that seriousness has been in him, which is what I mean. I took some of it, but somehow, somehow, you know, I, you know, I love some of that things more than he did. <laughs> the book about Agu. Oh, yeah, I've been promising this for long, and he thinks it's a joke. Not a joke, you won't allow him to die. So. <laughs> Soon, guests filed out to satisfy themselves with assorted meals that triggered their appetites from two seven points. In his response, the celebrant thanked everyone for honoring him at 70 as patent professional who sacrifices wealth for books. Odia is an uncommon eminent Nigerian with the rousing testimonies of his legacies in the intellectual work across the world. His 70th birthday, however, was an avenue for people to remind him of his giant strides in the academic world. The celebrant and some of his guests spoke to Red Carpet TV.
Let me start by congratulating him and to let him know that he's a privileged Nigeria. The life expectancy of Nigeria now is under 60, 70. But having said that, we thank God for a life that has impacted, especially creative work in Nigeria. When you see the volume of work he has done, you wonder whether one can do that in one lifetime. But we thank God for his life, he's very gifted, his mentor. A lot, lot of people especially in the creative industry, poetry, uh, and he's somebody that has worked and agonized for our country, Nigeria. What the interesting thing is, I still very optimistic in spite of everything. Uh, my prayer is that the beautiful Nigeria will come in its lifetime. Well, Odia Ofemu has always taken Nigeria very seriously. He believes in the Nigerian project, like many of us, but he wants a Nigerian that is built on the platform form of social justice and fair play. Uh, and he has written, yeah. continues yes. to write about the Nigeria of his dream. He is a committed patriot, a dedicated a democrat, and a revolutionary writer. It's, and it's good that he's been celebrated today. Because this is a society where only men and women of fame and of wealth are celebrated and honored. But by coming together today to honor this great Nigeria, I think the challenge before all of us is to try as much as possible to live everybody to live a life of integrity and I think that is one thing to learn from Odia of a moon. There's no point in, in denying that I'm genuinely happy and the reason is this. For a very long time I, do, I didn't do some of the things I thought I could do but in the past few years they all came together and I am happy that if you are talking about any Nigerian problem in the public space I've written about it and I think my solution is as right as that of any other Nigerian. From the Red Carpet TV crew, we say 70 cheers to a literary giant. Yeah.